Hey guys, welcome to the weekly ish. Weekly ish, Quinn, is that is that fair? Weekly ish bugle. Uh, it, it's it's the week bugle. The week bugle with, with an A. <laughs> with an A. Hope everyone's had a good week or so. I don't know when the last time was we did one of these. I mean, Quinn. you you know it was exactly twenty days because you told me that. Well, no, but then I thought it's been two weeks. I thought we hadn't done one for two weeks. So... Yeah, so it's been three weeks. Uh, oh, yeah, because you yeah, that's how that's yeah. how days work. That, that's how it? maths work. That's how days and maths work. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, but yeah, we're you back. Just got schooled on like time and days by a guy who can't name all the months in order. <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, how you doing, Quinn? Anyway, how has your three weeks been? <laughs> I, I'm doing alright. I, 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 as I just mentioned, I still can't name the months in order. Nope. Well, that's fine. You know. My, my ever-present quest is still ongoing. <laughs> How is, uh, how's the painting going? Are you... Uh... It, it's not going. It's not? so oh dear. How's no. the writing going? <laughs> it, it, right. Chapters are not going, other things are going. Okay. That's what I'll say with that. How's, how's Marvel, uh, how's Marvel Snap going? <laughs> that, that one's going, that one's going. That, Overwatch and Luke are all going. So, it, it, it's causing me, this game is causing me some real problems. I have had, I was just saying to Quinn, I've had about Your two and a half thousand. falling apart, you're going to lose the kids. <laughs> two and a half thousand points of separatists that are almost done. I just need to paint guns or weapons and then um, put some foliage on the base and do the rims black, which is probably, I reckon, Quinn, it might be four hours of work at the most. Um but then I will have over a hundred minis done, like ten percent of what I want to try and do, and I'm there going, "Well, I could do that, but in those four hours, I could probably I could play, play about like seventy games, 70 of, Marvel games of Marvel Snap." <laughs> Which um, is, if you haven't tried it yet, really good. Lou the Lunatic. I would apologise, but as everyone knows, sincerity on this channel is is limited. When I say limited, I mean non-existent. So I wouldn't mean it. I wouldn't mean it. But it is a good game. Daz, hope you're well, buddy. Long time no speak. Kaylee, hope you're well. Swedish troll. Oh, that's a shame, buddy. Uh, so I'll just leave a like and say congrats to the winner and honourable mentions of the painting competition. Yes, we are doing the painting competition. And just a quick recap, Quinn, for everyone uh, to what's on uh, on the line or, or at stake. So the way that we're doing the painting competition or... I suppose season two, Quinn, of the painting competition uh, is we are giving away the panels box. So I want to say it was Gooey Chewy last time who uh, who won. He got the uh, Doc Ock and Spider Man, which was which is a nice pack, right? They're 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 nice sculpts. Uh, pretty yeah, useless. I mean that terrain. Doc Ock is far and above the oh, one in the cool box, right? So much better, so much better. Um, uh, and and the way that we do that, the way that we give it away is everyone who enters. Uh, gets put into the prize draw. So whether you win, whether you get an honourable mention or not, you get put into the prize draw. Um, and that is going to be happening for this time round as well. Uh, but in addition, uh, thank you to the uh, guys at Olympus War Games, and we'll talk about that in a second. But thank you to the guys at Olympus War Games. We will be giving away a character pack, um, and a standard character pack, right? A $40 standard character pack every month. Um, and there are going to be two ways that you can enter that. So the first way is if you are a Patreon. So from as little as a pound a month, you'll get put into that weekly prize draw. We'll ship anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, you just pick whichever box you want uh, and we'll work out what the best way is of doing it. Sometimes it's just more cost effective for you to buy it yourself and we'll PayPal you the money. Um, <clears throat> but whichever way around we do it, um, we'll uh, we'll get that sorted to you, and then the other way is via the painting competition. So if you get an honourable mention, you will get yourself one entry into the uh, weekly draw or the monthly draw even. And if you are the winner for the week, you will get yourself two entries into the prize draw as well. So moving forward, after season two, once we've given away the panel. 
uh, box. That's what we'll be doing. That will be the, the 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 way that you can, or the incentive, I suppose, uh, for for painting. And as we've always said, Quinn, haven't we, that when it comes to the painting competition, it, we we know that within our Discord, within our community, <clears throat> we have got varying levels of painting ability. So we're not just always looking for what is technically, you know, the best painted model. We look at all sorts of different things. Um, yeah, I mean, it might just be an effect that was pulled off really well. <clears throat> exactly right? that, yeah. Or a particular, um, a really good idea for a, uh, a kit bash or, you know, using some green stuff to sculpt your own bit on it or something like that. Yeah, or like just even a cool colour scheme, right? Mm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Chewy89, hope you are well, buddy. <clears throat> uh, John Naylor, hope you're well. Um but yeah, we've got a couple of things to talk about, Quinn, um, MCP worldwide. But before we get into them, how has your TTS season gone so far? How have you uh, found it? 50-50. Yeah, you lost to uh, to Mr. Ron, didn't you? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that I have to play the guy that I play literally the most <clears throat> I know. in the first round of the event. <laughs> if only there was a mechanism on... Long on long shanks that allowed that to not happen. Stop mm. playing friends. Anyway, I blame Daz. Obviously, it's uh, it's his fault, pretty much. Universally, I found. Um, oh it's, yeah, it's like Daz's, he's the root of all evil in the world. It's Daz's know. fault. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I've gone. I've gone the same, Quinn. I lost my first game. Um, I tried out the Sentinels. I made the mistake of never having played them before. <laughs> That was a clever idea. Well, and you know well, me, I like you. to I like to get a good a good fifty to a hundred games in before I do anything big with a a new list, and I just didn't do it. Um, and my timings were off, and yeah, didn't have a great game. Um, but I played Asa last night in my second round. Uh, he was he wasn't an experienced player, but we had a, a really good laugh playing, um, and I did manage to uh, to take my cabal out. And uh, I just oh, is, that's the game where you made the illegal placement with Malika. <clears throat> well, no, because if you looked, I could move. I, no, no, I, no. I, I, I you moved had him to around. rotate. If you didn't rotate, it don't count. <laughs> I rotated him. I rotated him. Don't stand him next to Hulk. I mean, that's a general good rule of thumb. I think if you've got Murdoch and Malekith together, um, yeah, don't stand them next to Hulk. It depends. If it's if I've got if I've got priority, I've got dark raid up, I mean, and I've got follow me next to a dead hole. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Um, but yeah, so uh, fifty fifty at the moment, which is which is okay. Um, I think we need to go. We need to win the next five four. games, four games. I believe it's six games. In six season. games this time round, is it? Okay, so what just four. This the... time round, it's always been six. <clears throat> Are you sure? It has always been six. Huh. Who'd have thought Cause it? Because you can drop one game and get into cuts. Yeah. Yeah. So, I and this is actually, when I finished, I either fin I think I finished sixth last time, uh, two seasons ago, um, in the whole thing. And actually, that's when I lost my first game, and then I won every other game. And then last time round, I won my first game, and then lost the next two, and then just stopped playing, because, yeah. I think you did the same as well, Quinn, didn't you? Uh, yeah. What was I playing last? Time? Oh, were you playing uh, Avengers? Surely. I don't think I was. No, I think you was. I think you were. Uh, how do we like no list lock? Um, I, I much prefer it. I I I I do, Jonah. However, <laughs> I did find myself at five to six last night going. Shit, I've got a game to play. What's my roster? Shit, we don't submit them. I need a roster. Now, luckily on Cerebro, I've got about 15 different rosters that we've built. And I'm going through them going, uh, Midnight Sun's budget, that's definitely not being played. <laughs> or Spider Foes three box challenge. No, we're not doing that one. So I did, will you go away, sex chat six? Oh, wow, there are hot girls there. Hot girl! It just reminds me of that, um, the episode of Friends, where it's like, hard girl. Ah, uh -huh, yes, I, I have seen funny TV show, and I'm definitely not too young for it. Uh, there we go. Uh, report. What should we report them for? I think they're promoting terrorism. 
Quinn on that one. Yeah, uh, it's actually high treason. They want to kill King Charles. And then report um, misinformation because I don't believe that wherever they, <laughs> wherever they are sending me to, I don't believe there are indeed hot girls. So we'll misinformation that one. <laughs> Maybe that should be part of it. I like. I'll actually bring it down on the main screen, and people can can see what we do. Um, like an in chat vote. Is there a vote system? On <laughs> is there there like, is yeah. a voting system. <laughs> what shall we report these for this time? Uh, Glyn, good evening, buddy. Hope you are well. Um, but yeah, let let us know in the chat um, how everybody else is getting on with TTS. Uh, I think overall, Jonah, happy it's on Longshanks. Um, I I think um, I I think Longshanks is just far superior to any other um, tournament organizing kit out there, Quinn. I'm using I, I it just now like for having everything in one place. It's, well, it's, it's, <clears throat> do you know what I also like Quinn as well. Is I click one button and I change platform and I go from my Marvel stuff straight over to my Legion stuff or straight over to my. MESBG stuff because there's so many different um, there, gaming there model, so many mo mo ga now. gaming yeah. stuff on there now. Um, that yeah, and you know, big shout out to um, to uh, Sam and those guys that, that that run that. I think it's just him actually, isn't it? Um, I believe uh, there might be some people that help out here and yeah. there, but He's, Sam is the main man. He is the main man. David, good evening, buddy. Ike de Squid, do you suppose they're here for Air Force tips? Maybe, maybe, but just the tip. No, no more. Um, <laughs> uh, in the Titus League, can you bring any list you want each week? You can in this one, Ike. Yes. In the yes, past, that we've is had, the new change that has yeah, been made. We've had locks, however. There is a there is a limitation around um, the the character packs or the cards and things that you want to take must be from generally available packs, right? So a card that we're going to go into in a second, Logan the Wolverine, you wouldn't be able to play him this week in your TTS game because he is not available to buy. And I think that is a fair way of doing it, Quinn. Um, and when we say available to buy, they mean released in America, obviously, because, you know, the centre of the fucking universe. <laughs> there is no I in Team America, God damn it! <laughs> I mean, there, there is in the... Have you Indian. not seen Team America? That's the one with the song, right? Everyone has, yes. It's the one with the song. Have I you seen Team answer. America? No. It's the guys that made South Park. Um, but I'm, there's a... Why would I watch these things? I have better oh, things to do with my... Fucking Next time you're doing some painting, right? Put it on in the background. No, it's not something no. you need to watch. Look, any film... That if it's not film, something I need to watch, no, it's not it's something in like, I need to listen to either, is you it can, really? You can listen to it and it is and it is funny. Look, any, any, any TV that destroys Paris in the opening 30 seconds... Is a good program in my <laughs> in my books. <laughs> oh, uh, that we we've just lost ten viewers. That's the French contingent gone. I don't think we have a French contingent. Uh, drop a drop an L in the chat if you're if you're French. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you uh, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like anyway, guys, that would help. Uh, apparently. Oh, that, there we go. Uh, someone said we oui, we. Oui, you uh, know French. that we can see, you literally see that it's you, Quinn. Oh, yeah. uh, no, no, that is Queen. That's a uh, French way. <clears throat> is way. Team America the film that with Blame Canada? I think Blame Canada is South Park. Um, I know. I I just squid. It's Sorry, a, I, I don't watch your like boomer programs. God. On on baguette, <laughs> kidding. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me, dearie me. Right, Quinn, shall we jump over and take a look at uh, Mr. James Logan Hewlett's card? And we can have a debate. Hewlett? Hewlett? Uh, Howlett, even. Howlett. There we go. <laughs> Howlett. And we can debate whether we like him or not, because I think we may be uh, disagreeing on this one for a change, right? Oh yeah, we, we don't do that very often at all. 
<laughs> Glyn, possible French ancestry unsubbed. I mean, Glyn, depending on where you are in the world, um, everyone's uh, everyone's got a bit of French in them, probably. Yeah, exactly. Jonah gets it. <laughs> Quinn was like two when Team America was released. Jonah, but that's no excuse. Like It, it literally is. No, it's really not. It, it really is, because I've only ever heard of this movie like today. Right, well, go watch it. Anyway. No, I don't want to. Logan, the Wolverine, Quinn. James Logan Howlett. I did, I've just finished watching all of the original, or most of the original X-Men movies with Martha. She's never seen them before. And we watched um, X3, with The Last Stand, the one where Magneto makes his base in a fucking forest for some stupid reason. But it does oh, yeah, have... The forest, the place with all the metal. The place with all the metal, yeah. But it does have the best line, maybe from any... Marvel movie ever, which is just Logan sat at a bar, Magneto and Professor X walking up to him and asking to him to join them, and it just goes fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, Martha did find highly, highly amusing. Uh, the new layout to the Ultimate Guides are fab lads. I appreciate them. I appreciate them close up on the cards. I can read them now. LOL. Well, Davy, I'm glad you like them. Um, it's. Uh, it's probably the one thing that people have just asked over and over again is, can we do the ultimate guide? So uh, yeah, we, we yeah. I mean, we have the, the new that. format is great, but I'd like to hold just a moment of silence for uh, all the hours we wasted making the incredibly nice-looking formatting for the old ones. Can sorry, what? How how many hours did you put into them, Quinn? I was sat there with you. Actually, for like we five were. Hours. Yeah, we did. We did. Sit like, and... I, I was there. I was helping. You don't know, man. You weren't there. <laughs> I uh, was supervising. <laughs> we all know you're not allowed to be left unsupervised. Wolverine, fuck yeah. Here to save the mother effing day. Right, let's have a look then. 442 for his defense. Uh, six stamina on his front. He is a four threat character. He's size two. And he is a medium move. Uh, he's got two attacks. First one is going to be physical X slash. It's going to be range three, which I'm a big fan of Quinn. Uh, five power or five strength. And then it's power equal to damage dealt. It is a range one place and it is not optional. I would have liked to have seen it optional, but hey ho. Uh, and then on a wild, you get a pierce. So, um, Compared to his old card, so compared, you know his really good original card, uh, it's an extra range. It's um, a range one place, and you lose the bleed. I think range three from range two in Sacrifice of a Bleed Queen is a very, very good upgrade. With, with the gain of a placement as well. With the yeah. gain of a placement. Well... I, I do think the placement is, uh, for, for the most part, going to be good, but there's yes. just going to be some situations where you go, yeah, I'd have I mean, liked I, it. I feel like this version of the place is better than the version Beast has, right? Because Beast is still mandatory, but it's also down to chance whether you actually trigger it or not. So it's just so hard to plot around it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, you know... The idea that Wolverine is just pouncing around yeah. everywhere, doing you know, doing all of these attacks, really, really like it. Um, so for me, Quinn, that is a huge upgrade on his uh, on his original character. Let's yeah. also talk about that four energy defense versus the three. Big, big fan of that as well. Um, getting an extra energy defense there is really, really good. And obviously, it makes sense, especially for this version of Wolverine, to only have two. Mystic defense because he's pretty head fucked at this moment in time, isn't he? He's kind of he's forgot everything that ha I think it's going to be around the time of like, you know, he, he's forgot about the adamantium and he's run out of the, you know, he's run out of the um, wherever it is the base where Strucker's, you know, put all the adamantium into him. So he's kind of okay. out there in the wild, not Strucker, uh, Striker, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he's out there in the wild. Um, kind of just fucking shit up, basically, isn't it? Um, but let's go into Tornado Claw, his, his spender. Uh, it's another physical attack, as we'd expect. It's a beam three. It is a seven strength. 
and it is four power. And I'll tell you what I like about this, Quinn, is that it's always felt like beam attacks in the past. I kind of always saw them as like, you know, beam attacks being like, you know, a, a, an optic blast from from Scott or, you know, whatever it is that Iron Man does. Is it Unibeam from his chest? Or, yeah. you know, you've got the, the, the Rockets one from uh from war machine where you know it's it's sort of you know does it in a line sort of thing i kind of see this as being like he's just fighting his way through loads of people in a row see, he... i i'm more imagining like a pinball situation where he's just bouncing bouncing person, on, yeah person, it's... doing that slash if you th- there's that scene in logan where, where he's running through he's the forest. running through the forest and he's just you know he's just attacking everything um, I just really love it. I think it's so thematic. Really like it. Um, and then he's got a couple of things on here at the back end. So after all attacks generated by this attack have been resolved, place this character within one of the last character targeted by this attack. Now, the nice thing with this, Quinn, is you get you to choose, choose the, order. the yeah. order that you want to resolve in. So you may want to stay exactly where you are or, you know, within you know, within a, a distance of the first person. So you just choose to attack them first. <clears throat> Sorry, attack them last. Um, or equally, if you want to get to the end of that beam, because you might be able to get onto a point or something like that, uh, then he can do that as well. He's got the pierce on here as well, which makes this beam attack particularly potent. Uh, and he's also got a bleed on there as well, which I, um, yeah, I, I really, really like this. Uh, quite a lot. What are your thoughts on Tornado Clark Quinn? I do really like it. Um, like the the thing where we differ with this character is not necessarily with anything to do on the card. It is more a it, it, it's sort of the things around this character that I think we sort of differ on, right? Like I like a lot of things on this card, but as we'll get into, there are some other like sort of extraneous things that I'm a big fan of. Yeah. Um so let's have a look at his first superpower Quinn then. Uh, and this is one I think where you know he's got two great attacks. This one is okay, uh but it's what I do isn't very nice. Um <clears throat> action. This character immediately makes an X slash attack action. After the attack is resolved if the target character is size 3 or less, this character may throw the target character short. This superpower may only be used once per turn. Um, <clears throat> so there's a couple of things with this Quinter breakdown, isn't there? It's 3 power, which seems like a lot. However, it's a guaranteed throw as long as you don't kill the character. And for me, that's one of the gotchas on this, is that mm. if, you, if you're relying on the throw to maybe take out another character or <clears throat> to maybe even <clears throat> get that extra movement off there because you can throw the character before you place. Um, if you just somehow have a, you know, pop off, especially with that pierce, it's not unrealistic. Um, then you can find yourself stuck in a position where you don't get to do what you wanted to do. So it's, 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 Kind of better than just a character throw in one sense because it costs three and you get to do the attack. However, if things go really, really well, you could end up doing yourself over. If that may- Does that make sense, kind of the way yeah. that I'm looking at it? Um, but I I think it's okay. Um, I, I, I think I would have preferred a charge if I'm being brutally honest. Yeah, this is sort um, of the thing where I get into, which is, I, I don't want a new Wolverine. I want a better Wolverine, right? <laughs> like, if we just took elements from this one and incorporated with them with the other one, we would get a near-perfect Wolverine in my eyes. Yeah. Unfortunately, we've now got two Wolverines that don't fully fulfill what I want from a Wolverine. But isn't that part of his character is that as as a character Wolverine is fundamentally flawed. So there is there is no That doesn't mean he should be shit in a fight. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's look, this, this version of Wolverine. This version is, isn't. 
The other I mean, one is. The, the other one is pretty is pretty bad, yeah. He's also shit in a fight, and then when he loses the fight, he's shit at doing anything else. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really like this. Um, I, I think, you know, I I would have been happy for this to be a bit more of a bigger spend, like maybe even five power, and it being a charge with a throw at the back end. I, yeah. I think I'd have been okay with oh, that. Honestly, I think you could probably make it a four cost. I don't think you need to go to five. No? No. You're still, like, using the action up. Like I feel like it's only half more to get a charge, in, in my mind. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but, I mean, overall, look, this for me, Quinn, this is still better than the best at what I do or whatever it is. I think the yeah. other one is called, isn't it? Um, purely because of the throw. Uh, however, I would have liked I would have liked that um, that extra little just that extra little something something in there. Um, let's have a quick look. Jonah says it oozes theme, and I, I agree. I, I um, agree with that. Yeah. Time traveler twenty eighty nine says justify my name. No. Uh, okay. He is the best at what he does. Well, we'll come on to that in a moment, uh, James. Uh, fling himself through the crowd in a whirlwind of death. Yep. Agnes Grade, daughter's favourite scene. I think we're talking about the running up the, the thing there. Striker in the movies. He had nothing to do with the Weapon X programme in the comics. So we may see some Alpha Flight characters on his tactics cards. That would be interesting. Um, was he? Did he have adamantium claws when he was in Alpha Flight? I didn't think he did. Um, I'd have to... And the problem is there's so many versions of these characters. Yeah, right? exactly. It's, it's difficult. Uh, Caden, the power can throw a blob right since it isn't actually on the attack. Yeah, the the throw is nothing to do with the attack. Um, it's, it's the superpower. So I think blob is off the back of superpowers, isn't it? As... No, off the back of attacks, attacks. isn't it? Yeah. So superpowers do work on him. Um, Sam, I don't want a new Wolverine. I just wanted the old Wolverine to be updated. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is, you know... Well, we've seen the new um, cards for the X-Men pack and nothing's changed. Um, yeah, I mean, like, instead of bringing out, like, how, how much does this pack even cost? Like, £70? Well, pounds? we're going to get on to that in a well, minute. Well, yeah, like, instead of doing that, fix your fucking mistake, AMG. Yeah. Uh, I hope LJ will go back and update the OG Wolverine, and this new one isn't the fix to the old one. Yeah, I do agree. A, a you know, let's, let's use Daredevil as the example, right? Um, the new Daredevil, who is very good, okay, isn't the old Daredevil. It's a completely different character. He's yeah, not part of Web Warriors. He's not different. part of Defenders, right? Bringing bringing out a new version of an old character that is better doesn't fix the old issue, which is why I was really disappointed when they've done. You know, for me, Quinn Thor is the Thor for me is the the biggest thing AMG have got wrong um, in this game. Um, he's, he's I would say not releasing Odin, but sure. <laughs> well, there we go. I meant as in you know characters that they yeah. that they've released. Um, I hope MGA yeah, would do that one. It should be two Malekith as a throw. Yeah, Glyn, you have to remember Malekith is three threat more. Or, or almost twice the threat cost. Yeah, that's uh, so that that's where that comes in. Um, <clears throat> so you, when, when you're looking at how much something should cost, there are two things that you have to look at. First of all, what does it do? Is it you know is it action economy? And actually, what I do isn't very nice. He's actually pretty good action economy, Quinn, because, okay, it costs three power, but you get the attack, you get the throw potentially, and you get the move off the back end of it. So actually, that's quite... You get three things there. Then you have to look at what threat level is the character, right? If this is on a two-threat character, it should cost six power probably. Maybe even, you know, depending on what the attack is, right? However, on a eight threat character, seven threat, eight threat, seven threat, yeah, on a seven yeah. threat character, you're paying up front for it. So therefore, because you're paying more for the character, then you don't have to pay as much for the superpowers, right? I always like, I always look at Murdoch Quinn, where he's got a, a 
a, th- a long throw terrain size three, and it two. only costs two yeah. power. And the reason for that is he is a you know he's a five threat character. Um, uh, yeah, he was with them as Wolverine before joining the X Men. Oh, cool! I like this Wolverine as the lone wolf version of him. He has plenty of examples in the comics of times he was like that. I just wish team player X Men Wolverine was better nice thing about the new throw being apart from attack is you can place before or after the throw yeah exactly that uh odin will be in a pack with professor x like a geriatric superhero pack (laughs) um let's work through the rest of his card queen adamantium skeleton we've already seen this before actually is it it is exactly the same so being pushed off thrown, it's he counts the same as, size as three. Wolverine's one, not the same as Laura's. Not the same as Laura's one, yeah. Um, then I think this is the next one, Quinn, is one that you've got another problem with as well, isn't it? Which is get out of my head. So the first time this character is damaged by an enemy mystic attack each turn, after the attack is resolved, other allied characters within three of this character suffer one damage. Characters that suffer damage in this way gain one power. Um, this this guy is go- not going to work, Quinn, for me at least, in every setup. Um, I don't know why you thought I had a problem with this. This is one of my favourite things on his card. Oh, I didn't think you liked this one. Yeah, no, no, no. this is one of my favourite things on his card. The only thing I take off it is that characters that take damage gain power. I don't think <clears> they should. <throat> Yeah, um, inter- it's, yeah, I suppose. Um, I think it's okay, though. Like, any other instance of friendly fire in the game doesn't grant power, and this is literally Logan doing friendly fire. So the way, so the way that I see this is, if you look at... Um, look at Mental Domination, I think it's called, the card that Cassandra Nova and Jean can play. Mm-hmm. where they control the other character when that character makes an attack against one of its, it's own players it's not that character making the attack though <clears throat> it, it's not so mechanically I, don't, I mean so i don't see this as being logan doing it this is somebody controlling him but like i i view this as a different thing i don't view this as someone controlling logan and making him do that I view this as him lashing out just randomly. Like, okay. I don't think this is, like, a specifically targeted thing by whoever's attacked him. I think this is just his trauma response to it. Yeah, he he's, he's, he can't see who's there and he's just yeah, literally he's just flailing around. Going and, for it, yeah. like... But, yeah. Look, um, again, though, thematically... One of my favourite things, honestly. Thematically, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, again? Um, and then, well, that's my second to last. We have On the Hunt. This is... I love this bit. When this character makes an attack, if there are no allied characters within range three of it, this character may reroll two of its attack dice. Now, <clears throat> I had a couple of people asking me, like, how does this work? Basically, you're measuring from Logan and you're looking at Logan's allies. I saw a couple of people get confused by this, Quinn, in terms of if I'm by myself with Logan, but there's two characters the next to each other does this work yes it's wolverine out there by himself it's not wolverine going off and picking a character off by themselves Quinn, yeah is it? But because the subject of the sentence is wolverine yeah. not the character he's attacking exactly that yeah exactly that um so i like this reroll two attack dice right um Good. it's he's gonna work well we know that there's going to be a new weapon. We know there's going to be a new um, Weapon X team, don't we? As part of this, so we're assuming he's so. going to work well there. Um, I think he'll work really well in Shadowlands Daredevil. I think he could work really well in X Force. I think you could definitely see him being played in. I think he'd make a decent Midnight Sun, you know. I think he Just would. Bumping Ooh. yourself out of that range three of your allies. Give him a bump. And he's going to yeah. have the power to do it, Quinn, because, mm. you know, he's that, that five dice builder from range three is a very, very nice um, builder. Um, and then lastly, healing factor two, which we'd expect, uh, and then immunity to stun. Um, so quite a lot on his card there. For a fourth threat yeah. character, that is a packed, packed card. Um, 
you are allied to yourself though, so probably needs an errata to yeah, other it does ally. Need to say yeah. Other. yeah, it's a good point that Jonah. Um, that's a really good point, but I think we can take it as yeah, that's... rules as intended, not written, <clears throat> right? Yeah, yeah. Anyone Otherwise, that... it would literally be a useless bit of text. Any... <laughs> like... I mean, would it be the first? <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time that a Wolverine had useful text on him. Yeah, right? best at what oh I am. God. Fuck me. Um, so, Quinn, is this guy going to be a pillar? That's what we need to know. <laughs> oh, is he a pillar of NCP? No, but he is good. <laughs> no, because a pillar is not a person. Anyway, um, overall, me. Quinn, actually, let, let's double check. Let's double check. I don't think there's... Are there changes on his other side? No, he's exactly the same. As far as I'm so, one. one of the things I'm that I do like... Everything. Yeah. Um, stamina, stamina distribution I actually like he's got the same amount of stamina as the other Wolverine, yeah. it's just equally <clears throat> spread instead of being front loaded yeah. which is, I, I, I personally prefer it because this Wolverine even though he's in a worse place mentally doesn't lose the ability to interact with objectives <sighs> when he flips see that's, the, that's one of the things that makes the other Wolverine so bad the moment you take him out he isn't scoring VPs uh, or you know, not not easily scoring VP. So yeah. you know, he turns into a a four cost nebula at that point, pretty much. Which uh... Uh, yeah, I want one of them. <laughs> um, right. But yeah. Are you ready for me to uh, hijack the stream? <laughs> Go on, Quinn. Right. Let's make the perfect Wolverine, shall we, Rich? Oh, By dear. combining these two, this Wolverine and the other Wolverine. Right. Okay. First of all, the model is in the fucking costume. Um, well, I We're see, doing I... X-Men affiliated Wolverine and Wolverine as we know him in most things he's in, he's in the costume. Okay, so we're going for the costume. Right. Let's, he's in the costume. Let's, 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 let's pop this out here a second. Right, right. so he's in the costume. Well, okay. Clearly, he's a fourth threat because both iterations have been fourth threat. He's a fourth threat, right? Okay. We're keeping the 442 stat line. Obviously, yeah. Right. We're giving him 6-6 six, six stamina. Healing factor two, right? Okay. He's size two. He's got a medium move. Yep. Now, you know how you really like having multiple builders on a character? I do indeed. It's one of my right. favorite Right, he's going to have Admantium Slash. Okay. And then he's going to have a reworked version of X Slash, where it's still range three, but it's four dice, and it's one power flat gain, but you still get the teleport placement. And you get the wild pierce. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? And also, we're fucking off whatever the the old Wolverine spender was because it was boring and shit. And we're having tornado claw because that's cool and fun. Berserker barrage is yeah, the old. Yeah, that we're having tornado claw because that is far more thematic in my eyes. Yeah. Right now, three power. You get a combination of I'm the best at what I do, and what I do isn't very nice because you're getting a charge in effect. With the throw off the end, however, the attack has to be an adamantium slash, so it's got a range two stipulation to it. Okay. Right, we're keeping adamantium skeleton, because of course we are. Get out of my head is going in there. <coughs> Even because... though it's a downside, he needs it. Oh yeah, like he needs it, because otherwise we're making a character that's too good. He's keeping get out of my head. And we're replacing on the hunt with a version of Symbio Instincts which is called Superior Senses, or I Can Smell You, right? <laughs> because every time Mystique ends up in the expansion, who is it that finds out who it is? It's Tom fucking Wolverine, Wolverine. Yeah. right? He can smell you, you're not getting to do any of your bullshit against him. Immunity to stun, we're done. That's the proper Wolverine AMG should make. Well, it's not the one I we've got. My case, sir. It's not the one we've got. Um, <clears throat> so, let's... Um... Just to clarify a couple of things, I was just looking at chat. Um, tactics cards, what can and can't you use? Any tactics cards, which I don't believe there are any at the moment, that specify James Logan, James Logan Howlett, Howlett, you can use with both characters. Any tactics cards like Gene, like um, throw, throw, throw a thing. What's the throw thing? Uh, uh, Fastball special. Training. Oh, right, that. Fastball the, special. The, the other throw thing. Yeah, yeah the other throw thing. Um, who state Wolverine you cannot use with this version of 
Wolverine because it is Logan the Wolverine. Um, Very he- quickly. Healing Hayley, Factor One of works. the first things I said was Healing Factor 2. Yeah. There. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just to clarify, if they say James Logan Howlett, both can use. If they say the Wolverine, this one can't. And then equally, if it says Logan the Wolverine, the other one can't. Um, and it makes sense. Team Tactics card, the Wolverines, has James Logan, as James Howlett on it. But well, there we go. Casual Sweat, that is that is one that will... Um, can be used by both, but he's shit, so I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> um, overall, Quinn, overall, where, where would you put Logan the Wolverine at the moment? Bearing in mind, we haven't seen the Weapon X um, affiliation. affiliation, tactics cards, leadership ability, or anything like that. So it's really hard to judge him, but as a standalone four threat character at the moment um where does he where does he rank for you uh b plus a minus yeah i'm 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 in that sort of b category i think he's absolutely solid but is a tactics card away from being pushed up into solid a tier i think um you know for me if he <clears throat> and i'm not you know i wouldn't expect him to have this card quinn but you know, something as impactful as a legal protector, that sort of thing, oh, then yeah, yeah. he goes, for me, he goes up in estimation significantly. Um, you know, cards that are stapled to four threats can often push them up a tier, can't they? Um, if Weapon X is good, A, not B. Um, Caden, it all depends on how you rank them. Like, you know, but I think, um, I think yeah, um, Weapon X is going to be interesting. It, it should be, Realistically, Quinn, it should be the most aggressive leadership we've had, right? Mm. Just from who they are. Um, I'd like to see something VP wise with with Logan. Mm. I'd love to see a a mm. saber tooth Logan team up. Where yeah, you know what I'd really like. Go on. If dirty work gave you VPs like it was supposed to. I mean, we just know that card's bad, don't we? Because anyway, so. it was very clearly supposed to give VPs, and I will hear no argument otherwise. Glynn's just asked a very good question of who will be the leader of Weapon X. I think it's going to be the really shit version of Deadpool from X Men Origins. No, I don't. <laughs> what the one without a mouth? The, the one with the... without a mouth. The one without the mouth, and the one that has katanas for arms that are longer than his arm. <laughs> like, um. Who could be the leader of Weapon X? It's a good question because Logan was a was a choice, right? Logan was a was a, a real choice. Um I don't think Sabretooth is going to be the leader. Do you think it's gonna be a card? I think they're going to do something different with it. Because Weapon X and Keep me honest here, chat, right? And and Quinn. I kind of see Weapon X, at least from what I've read and the, the movies I've watched, right? I've, I'm, I'm not going to proclaim to be an expert on it. Um, they remind me a little bit of like, <clears throat> not identical to, but like the Suicide Squad, right? And hear me yeah. out, my reasoning behind it. It's a team of ragtags that are put together and there's, you know, at least in the, in the comics, you know, Striker who's, sorry, in the, in the, the movies, Striker, who's sending them out on these missions in the same way that sort of, you know, Amanda Waller does. I think we could see like a tactics card that is Striker, but is the leader rather than it being a model. I have a different idea. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion. Well, not a sneaking suspicion, but I think it would be really cool if they were the first affiliation in the game that just didn't have a leadership. Like, they don't have anyone fulfilling that leadership role. Do you know what? Because they're they not are a team. Entire, they are entirely based off tactics cards. Because they're not a team, right? Yeah. They're you, not a you team. You don't get a leadership, but you get some baller-ass tactics cards. So, it, That's that, what I want. I want, like, a fucking Siege of Darkness and something else, right? That's what I want. <clears throat> um... I think it could be good. I think I'd, it could I'd be think good. That would be a very interesting way of doing it, and I think also the most thematic way of doing it in my mind. 
Yeah. Like, because there's nothing that says an affiliation has to have a leadership, right? You, you can play Avengers without playing any of the three leaders. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah. 100%. Um, looking at who else, like, could be in there, right? Do we think we're going to see Lady Deathstrike? Because I actually think if there is a leader, she is probably going to be it. Is she, like, the Japanese lady? Yes. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Um, like, x 23s in there as well, like you'd expect. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, who else? Like, Deadpool's been in there. Um, I think we're going to get, like, this Logan, the, the new Sabretooth, who's probably going to be called Victor Creed or something stupid. Um, Victor, we're going to get Laura. Victor the Sabretooth, yeah, something v- like that. Victor Creed the Sabretooth. Because I, I, I don't think you just call him Victor. No. I think he needs his full name. He needs to be Victor Creed. Um, but you have those two. You have Deadpool in there. You have Laura in there. And maybe you have Honey Badger in there. Yeah, I don't know if Honey Badger was ever in there, to be yeah. honest with you. I, I, I don't know if she's been part of the team, but she definitely fits yeah. the theme of it being all of the she does, slashy yeah, healing yeah. factor people. But I think Laura fits very much so. Right? Yeah. Um, just because of time, Quinn, let's let's just move on a little bit. I just, I just want to cover off one thing um, on this, which is um, price point. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, Bullshit. I I think um, rivals packs should be for already released characters that are different poses for them. Yeah, that's that is what that format should be. Yeah, yeah. Let us know down in the um, let us know in the uh, in the comment section um, what you guys think of that. Um, I I agree. I think it's. It shouldn't be behind. Like, Interestingly, I, in the beginning, you didn't agree, right? Well, no. I, so I... I buy everything. Well, I'm not so trying I, to call you out, by the way. No, I don't, no, no. I'm no, just no. interested I, in the thought process. I buy everything, so I don't care, right? Mm. I buy it all anyway. Um, however, there are going to be some people who look at this and go, that's... I really want to play these. You know, Logan and... You know, t- two of... You know the most. Let's be honest. One of the most popular characters Marvel have ever produced is is yep. Wolverine, and not necessarily from the comics, but just in other media. Right? Everyone knows who the Wolverine and is. There's a reason Wolverine is on like a billion different comic scenes, right? Yeah, and it's you, because he's popular. Yeah, and you look at you know you 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 look at any any game any anything that ever comes out, right? There's always a Wolverine in there. Any Marvel game, no matter what it is, there's always a Wolverine, because guess what? He sells. Um, and and putting that behind a paywall, I don't think it's great. However, if they release something else that lets you, you know, lets you get these models in a different way, but you're still then going to get to the point where You've got some people who are going to have bought this up front and then potentially be penalised further down the line because they didn't wait. Which, I don't know, the same arguments with the affiliation packs, right? If you waited, you'd have got them for cheaper, but ultimately if you want them early, you've got to pay more. So, I don't know. I think it will be very telling to see what they do after this will be the big thing. Um, Ideally, like, you merge... The Wolverines together, as I suggested. You, well, that's not you just make it, I, I know it's not happening. I said ideally for a reason. Ideally means it's not going to happen because nothing ideal ever happens. But you make them into the same thing that the Doc Ock vs. Spider-Man pack was, which is the same characters with a different sculpt. That is the only difference between the two of them. If you want a Wolverine with a cowboy hat and a leather jacket... You go for this one. Right? Yeah. If you want a saber tooth wearing a bandana, you go for this one. If you like the cool little bunker thing, you go for this one, right? Because also, Wolverine and Sabretooth are in the same pack elsewhere, right? That's so it's, true. it's literally a choice of whether you want to pay more, get the bunker, get sculpts that you might prefer, right? And just mechanically in the game, they are identical. But that's not gonna happen. I've just thrown a what should happen in my mind. I've just thrown a poll up now, guys, because I'm interested on on everyone's take on this. Would you be happy if your opponent turned up with the old models 
and a printed card. Uh, let me let us know on the poll what you guys think of that. Um, right now, Quinn, if somebody was to do that, I would not have a problem with it whatsoever. I would be perfectly um, fine with it. For, you know, for me personally, I'd, you know, putting that paywall for people in is 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 not good. You know, it's not like they haven't bought. You know, it's not like they haven't bought into it. Um, but yeah, let us know. Let us know what you think. Uh, cool. David, the answer to that question is Odin. Uh, I can't see the question. Which Marvel character would you like to see added to MCP that we don't have? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, um, there's so many. Right, guys, let's get on to the uh, painting competition. Uh, Let's just go over here. Not that one. Where have you gone? You've gone there. There we go. Cool. Weekly paint competition, guys. Quinn, recap us on uh, on what the theme was for this, let's say, period of time. (laughs) <laughs> it was all things mechanical so that's uh, sort of encapsulating sentinels because that's what we were discussing on the previous bugle all of your robot characters and all of your characters that had sort of cybernetic upgrades sort of like your winter soldiers your nebulas people like that right yeah yeah absolutely absolutely so let's go through then and the first honorable mention so for anyone that d- didn't catch it at the beginning Honourable mentions, uh, two honourable mentions, one winner. The honourable mentions will get one entry into our monthly prize draw for a MCP character pack. The uh, winner will get two entries. So some incentive there for you guys. So uh, honourable mention number one is Brushnicker. And I think you picked this one out, Quinn. Um, and I, I, yeah, I, it was I the colour scheme, the wasn't glow, it? It's the glow stick swords. Yeah. Like, this, this is like Rave Nebula. <laughs> Um, Cyberpunk Nebula is kind of how I sort of uh, <clears throat> saw this one, but yeah, I do this like, is like it. Nebula running around Night City. <laughs> yeah, She's basically I... got Mantis blades. Actually, thinking about it, <laughs> I, I I agree. I really liked this one. I thought it was a uh, not only a you know a solid paint job, but in particular that color scheme really really caught my eye um that neon green there i'd be interested brush nicker let us know in the comments if you're in or or afterwards what green that is because i have a, a vallejo game color um i oh know it's, it's an av one is av vallejo no it is yeah it is vallejo uh, which is a fluorescent green which looks like it could be it but i'd be intrigued as to uh as to which version you were using. Um, so yeah, well done to you, Brushnicker. Uh, really, really like that one. Our second honorable mention, Quinn, is one that I picked out, and it is Moriartis, and it is this Omega Red. And for me, Quinn, the thing that stuck out first of all was I had to look at this closely to work out, have they used chrome paint or have they used non-metallic metal? And I really, really liked that comic book style non-metallic metal on here. Um, yeah, really, really lovely. liked that. Uh, I think it works really, really well. It's a really, really nice paint job. Uh, so uh, yeah, well done to you, Moriartis. And then there can only be one winner each week. Uh, and this week it is a big congratulations to Mister Ark Trooper for this Murdoch Queen. You picked this Murdoch out. There was a yeah, a couple I, in there, weren't they, for contention this week? I, I just um, really like the super high contrast on the gold. Like, yeah. the really dark and the really light. <clears throat> just, oh, it's so like it's just so nicely placed around the model. Yeah, that non-metallic metal is, has been done really, really well, hasn't it? Um, <clears throat> and then also, actually, even the um, even the exhaust fume, or the, the, the sort of, you know, fire coming off the bottom of his chair... Is um, is really well done as well, but uh, and then the OSL coming up from underneath kind of just finishes it off a little bit as well. Um, so uh, yeah, well done, Art Trooper, uh, well done, Moriartis, and well done, Brushnicker. There we go. I did remember. Um, well done to you guys. Uh, you'll get uh, entries into our prize draw uh, for a a character pack of your choice. Uh, right, Quinn, I have to pick for this week, and I think, I think this week, in the theme of healing, right, Weapon X, okay. healing, any character, in fact, let's, let's end this poll, let's end this poll first of all. Uh, also, just before you get into this, I want to quickly touch on something Jonah mentioned. 
okay. uh, which is in relation to the last Rivals pack, there being complaints about the characters not being like changed and having new cards, right? The reason for that was because, in my mind, it was around the time of the updates, right? I think and there, that... was a, there was a perception that because of the foil cards, Dark Ock and Spider-Man didn't receive erratas due to the foil cards already having been produced, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a... That, it's a... in my mind, is where those complaints came from. Not necessarily a thing of going, we want new characters to be in these packs because it's just not... In my mind, it is not a good way to bring new characters into this game. New sculpts, sure, because they're an optional extra. It's like buying a cosmetic in a video game, New right? sculpts, shiny cards, right? Yeah. Alternate artwork cards. They're it, not it's a... literally like buying a cosmetic <clears throat> in, in a video yeah. game. They're no not essential. Difference. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Uh, problem is they want to make different snapshots to make more versions of each guy. Now, we get that, Jess, but not behind the $100 paywall. Yeah, not, um, not with a big stupid rock in the ball. <clears throat> 95% of you and apparently 4% of you um, one of you, I don't know what you were thinking, but uh, were, were happy with that. Printed cards with old models. Um, I think it'll be interesting. Um, should AMG do character card packs with alternative builds instead of keep releasing new models? Interesting, Claire. Um, as a business model, it doesn't work. You can't charge $40 for two cards. Um, they make their money from plastic. I get that. That's you know they need. That's where they need to make their money. Um, yeah, like, so I, I don't mean, think that's viable. As was mentioned, they want to keep making snapshots of characters, right? That's fine. Just do it in a normal character pack. <clears throat> I want to just pick up on what Nathan said there. What, what gap? What time gap would mm. you be happy with, Nathan? Because oh, I'd want instantaneous. If I'm honest. <laughs> But they're never going to do that. They're never going to do that, but that's what I fucking want. Unless, okay, let me let me throw this out to you, Quinn, right? Back to our point of cool extra cosmetic things. What about if they release two side by side, a forty dollar pack and an let's call it an eighty dollar pack, right? I think a hundred's too much, right? Yeah. In the eighty dollar pack, you got not only the original cards but you've got alternate artwork cards of each of the cards as well. And well, you've got the, just the foils, right? And you've got the terrain. That's what I mean. Or, or even just foils, right? It could be a foil version. It can be whatever. I think you would have a group of people that would then do that. I would, yeah. because I'd, but I'd want the original cards in there as well, because I want both. <laughs> That's my thing. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. I just hope it doesn't come with one, two fucking punch in it. Um, <laughs> be, uh, oh, well, be we, we get our second one two punch in a Wolverine <laughs> Sabretooth box. Lovely. So, guys, theme for this week is healing. So, who is eligible? Any character with healing factor? Doctor Strange, Wong. <laughs> Any character who can perform a heal with either a superpower that is theirs or a tactics card. That specifically, that specifically names them. Okay, so patch up, for example, you can't go. I've picked Murdoch because Murdoch can play patch up. Um, so yeah, anyone that can do any sort of healing with either a superpower or a tactics card that is specifically named by them. So that is going to be your yep. Yeah, Nebula heals at the beginning of her turn. So Does that would that count. mean every Avenger? Pardon. Every Avenger and every Web Warrior. Nope. No? Do you know why? Because no. those Specific cards don't specifically name okay. those characters. Yeah. So Groot can. Ooh, Venom's a good shout. Everyone Venom. put Venom's in. There you go, there's your Venom. Uh, uh, Black, is it Supergiant or Black Swan? I can never remember. Uh, uh, Supergiant. Supergiant, yeah, so Supergiant's yeah, another one. Yeah, the thing. Um, so yeah, any of those... Um, fill your boots guys another quick announcement Quinn doesn't know this one yet um, I am going to be moving the weekly bugle from a Friday to a Wednesday um, reason why is I am just available every Thor counts though Thor leadership does heal it's an ability that heals other people 
Thor does. We'll Thor does, but the other ones other don't. Other Asgardians don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, no, Wanda can do it because her card heals. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if you, as an individual character, heal other people, you are in there. If you have a blanket card that heals people, you are not in there. Right. Because it's a generic. <clears throat> Anything, right, let me do this. Anything on your card that allows healing or anything in a superpower that names sorry in a tactics card that names you specifically right omega red counts uh i'm trying to think of who else right anyone with healing factor right work it out leadership on thor does but doesn't work for everybody else. There we go. Um, so we're going to move to Wednesdays. Reason why is um, I'm just far more available on a Wednesday. Fridays are becoming increasingly difficult for me. Um, it's typically the one night of the week where I get to uh, spend some time with uh, with uh, my partner. So yeah, we're going to be moving them from Fridays to Wednesdays, uh, starting next Wednesday. So the, the bugle for next week will be next Wednesday. So it only gives you a few days to get your entries in for next week, guys. So, um, yeah, I'll put it in the uh, in the Discord. You just somebody wax it in there anyway. Um, thank you to everyone that entered so far. Reminder that we do have our monthly giveaway. Uh, the way that you can do that is by going to our Patreon. There's probably a link somewhere. I don't know. Is it, is it in the description? There's not. A, is there a description for this video? Yeah, it's the top of the description for the video. Is it good? Yeah, okay. Oh, let me let me do this as well. So, pound a month, uh, it gets you uh, it gets you in the uh, in the prize draw. Um, how does she feel about this, Rich? Livid that I'm going to be spending more time with the journal. <laughs> Um, that's so, actually the reason that Rich and I became acquainted. I was hired to keep him away from her. Is this where it comes from? Excellent. <laughs> uh, 47 in the chat, guys. If you could leave a like, that'd be really, really appreciated. Um, we have been doing some other content. Don't worry, we are still doing MCP stuff. Um, but we're moving now to probably two videos a week. Um, we'll have the live stream, which will be the bugle. And then we will have the whatever sort of ongoing thing that we're doing at the moment. So right now we are on uh, Ultimate Guides. We haven't decided yet, Quinn, have we, as to what Ultimate Guide we're going to do next. Maybe we'll pick two or three each and I'll put a poll up on the community site so you can go and pick that. Uh, we've had a few people ask us, can we go back and do old ones? We're not going to go do the old ones until... We've done all the new ones, um, maybe with the exception of Winter Guard. Um, but uh, yeah, so once we've got through the old, the new ones, we'll go back and take a look at some of the other ones as well. Because um, I think like we need to do um, like um, a, a Captain America, Steve Wilson, Avengers one, Quinn, don't we? There's a Sin Cabal one, you know, people may want. To know about I that. I mean, I I quite like rapid fire sink about is not a bad thing. R rapid fire spam's a thing, man. Yeah, it's legit. But there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you all. Uh. Pardon me. Hope you all have. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we, you know we just had a massive dip in viewers. <laughs> I wonder tell, why. Tell me you drink too much fizzy pop without telling me you drink too much fizzy pop. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hope you all have a great weekend and uh, yeah, we will catch you next time. Take care. Bye for now. See you.